Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners. And when we last left off, we took some more land from England, and then, of course, when we destroyed the English army, there decided to be a revolt. Uh, England is involved in the... Let's see, the War of... Oh, crap. Did our marshal die? Eberhard, 77 years old, a natural death. You will be missed, good marshal. Uh, let's go ahead and make Luque the mayor of Dublin. And he wants to be the marshal. Good on you. Go ahead and train troops. Hold on just a cotton-picking minute. Um, okay, so the liege levy is full. It's just we're not getting our reinforcement rate or our tax modifier for a few more years. So that's fine. He can train troops in the capital and boost up our total levy size. That would put us at 5,800 of personal levy. Oh, depression. Sorry, Kerr. And uh, 20k from our uh, vassals. A daughter was born named Kankern. So a kinswoman. Outstanding. We, we have our chancellor up here in the Duchy of Lancaster trying to fabricate a claim. The Duchy of Lancaster would get us a de jure claim. Oh, we lost a steward. Well, crap. Everyone is dying on us here. All right. So Duke Maine the Careless has died. He was the Duke of Man. So now we have a new vassal. He likes us pretty good. That is fine. Let's get another steward in here. A 17 and a 17. Um, you like us the most and you're a Duke. Good on you. Go ahead and collect taxes in our capital if you please. Uh, we're going to be spending some of that money to uh, do some decisions here. And that is probably going to be to uh, repent our sins to try to get our piety up. We're growing piety at 1.8 per month and we need uh, some decent piety to claim the Kingdom of England when we can usurp it. So once this uh, civil war gets all straightened out, we'll see how much land we have. We have these counties here, uh, these counties here, the Duchy of Northumberland up there, and Norfolk there. We have a new Pope in charge as well. Let's take a look and see how they feel. All of our religious vassals like us better than the Pope. And we lost another steward. Was killed by a mob of angry peasants. Well, we lost a little bit of prestige. And we lost a duke. So that's our new duke. And the, uh, the Duke of Man seems to be uh, on the struggle bus just a bit. We need a new designated regent. You like us the most. Are you ambitious? You're gregarious. You're wroth. Humble and kind. You're a guy who will do what we ask you to do. And we need another commander. A 13 with a 33. There you go, good sir. And now we need another steward, the 17. Lou. All right, Lou. Don't get killed by peasants. Off you go. So we've been through two Duke, Dukes of Man. And uh, now it's the Duke of Boy. Uh, the Duke Mer uh, Mauritian. American? Sure makes sense. Hey, England, how are you faring in this civil war, good sir? Now, once the English, if, if uh, this king gets deposed, that would be kind of excellent. Defending against the fourth civil war to lower crown authority, 45% in favor of the revolt, and defending against Nial of Mercia in the de jure war over Shrewsbury. Interesting. So this is Shrewsbury here. Let's see, Earl Roy of Moray. So a new Duke of Moray, is that? Oh, never a shortage of soldiers. Good reinforcement rate. Yeah, we'll be up to our cap in no time. We did lose 2,000 vassals in that exchange, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully this... We've got four years before that modifier drops off and we can start getting all the cap... Uh, all the... Uh, all the tax money, but our new steward collected a tithe for us, so all the better. Definitely not going to be mad at that. Factions aren't too strong. Armchair wants to be uh, the Duke, or the ruler of Ireland, but he's the only one that feels that way, which is good. Speaking of which, how is our election? So four in favor of Flanchad of Munster, who's a 16 martial skill. That will definitely help more than ours, that is for sure. Two children like the Guardian are genius twins. So these girls can be whatever we want them to be. 
Uh, we already have a betrothal to France, so we need to make sure that that marriage stays in place. As far as you, my dear, uh, this is an opinion boost. So which vassal can we boost by 10? Uh, Celine. There you go. Go ahead and teach her a bit. And why don't... See, we need another opinion boost here. How about the Duke of Galway? There you go. Go ahead and educate my children. Especially that genius. Do well with, uh, with this genius, if you please. She's already better than we are in some of our stats, I believe. Yeah, our daughter is a better backstabber and more learned. At, uh, at how old? Six years old? So yeah, it goes a way, long way that Princess Dan Hueden of Ireland um, does well. We can edge it. We can do a matrilineal marriage here and keep the uh, keep the bloodline strong. I don't want to let a genius go away. That is for sure. Are there any strong or genius six-year-olds around here? Just a courtier in Galway, a courtier of Scania. Interesting. Uh, some decent stats here. Temperate. And he's got a claim on the Duchy of Scania. It would be nice if we could get a claim on one of these duchies from, say... Oh, you don't have any siblings. Interesting in... Or you don't have any children. Interesting. How about down here in Devon? Well, of course, you're not going to have any children. How about you? Do you have a child? Yes, you do. Can we arrange a betrothal with our genius daughter matrilineally? No, he's not going to do it. He's too high in the line of succession. That's pretty much what we were afraid of. And we don't want to marry them. If we declare a war on them, I mean, that would be pretty bad. Risk our daughter being killed. A better court chaplain at a 14. You're just one better. Give him a chance, old man. All right, the truce with Githa of England till 79. Defending against the war over Shrewsbury, 70% in favor of Duke Nial. So this war might be over quick. Duke Nial uh, might take Shrewsbury away, which is interesting indeed. Once uh, England gets out of this war, how is our truce? Till 72. So October of next year, so a year and nine months or so, we'll be able to make another move. And hopefully England's army gets sort of wrecked in this civil war. That'll allow us time to... Small feudal tax law. Good. I think I tried to pass that law uh, last episode. Another daughter was born. And uh, yeah, out of wedlock, our, our kinsman... Kinswoman Megred is uh, having babies. A lot of babies. Dangerous factions, now what? Lower the crown authority. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's a gift of 63 bucks. Stop it. Here's a gift of 72 bucks. Stop it. A dutiful cleric is our kinsman. He's an oak. Okay, I mean, I would say an okay diplomat, but he's not even really an okay diplomat. Duke Sigil. Awesome. Kinswoman. He likes us. Can't go wrong there. There's some more battles kicking off with this revolt, it seems. Yeah, it looks like old Nial is pushing the issue against here. It's part of the Mercia Revolt and then the English Revolt. These are the two wars that England are fighting simultaneously here. That we're just going to watch and let their manpower get reduced because... We're about a year away from going to war ourselves. So we have a genius twin here. Our son as well. Outstanding. So who do we want to butter up just a bit? Let's go with Roy. He might be Scottish, but that's fine. And then we also have Gorgmas. Why don't you get educated by someone else who needs some buttering up? How about uh, Anger? There you go. More positive opinion for everybody. 
How are our vassals, by the way? Yeah, our vassals really like us, it seems. Uh, Mercian, I think we can send a gift. Increase his opinion a bit. And then this guy is... Armchair is way too... Uh, way too mad at us for that. A troubadour. Gain 5 prestige for Roth. Duke Armchair improves by 10, improves of the gargariousness, and we gain the trait charitable. Good diplomacy, good church opinion, same trait opinion, and we are not already charitable, so we shall indeed take the charitable trait. That's going to be pretty good. Diplomacy and church opinion, that's going to help out all of these guys for sure. And it might make us more, no, didn't make us more pious. But with the Pope, I mean, that's uh, that's all well and good. So there's an anti-Pope over here. Interesting. Is our religious vassal in Rome? Yeah, currently in Rome, improving uh, religious relations. That's all well and good. If any of these guys drop, we might send him over here. And he's reigning in Dublin. Why not? Let's go ahead and move our guy up here to Dublin to improve some religious relations. Try to get uh, our bishops in line, and he's the closest one to flipping. Old Bishop Selen. I need you to do a good job, Bishop Samer Healy. And you've got a 20% chance. I like it. All right, so how is our truce? October of this year coming up, so we are 10 months away. Hopefully the English army gets wrecked just a little bit more. That would certainly be nice. Take a look at the buildings. But I have a friend who are e who's excellent in this kind of thing, our nephew. Let's see. We can gain a little bit of prestige, but we'll ask our friend. Why not? Our friend will like us pretty well. Maybe he can suggest something. Old Duke Conria de Huebarth. And this is looking interesting. If we were to declare war on the King of England, what could we press right now? We can claim Derby Cornwall for Osman Eldwolfson. And uh, he is not in our uh, court. Nice, we gain a stewardship. Leinster gets friendly innovations, a local build time, and a build cost reduction. Do we pounce on that while the pouncing is good? I think we do. Um, let's see, retinue size, morale of armies, and levy reinforcement rate. 50 more heavy infantry and 25 pikemen. Let me actually look at this. So we're at 609, 100, let's see, 147 pikemen, 1,300. That's extra pike. Light cavalry. So 400 light cavalry. I mean, tax income would be nice. Light cavalry and heavy cavalry. I don't think we have any heavy cav. That's five heavy cav. Why not? We'll build some stables. Seems good. Always improving. It's almost like we went to Lowe's or something. So as I was saying, if we were to press a claim, let's see, the Countess of Worcester. She's reigning in Derby. You're reigning in Northampton. Can we invite these people to our court, I wonder? I, he feels I risk too much. Bah. Let him sit and spin on it for a while. All right, King. So is there anything I can do from my court? There's the de jure claim on Shrewsbury. Uh, Duke Nial of... Nice, okay. So we could go to war for that on behalf of one of my vassals. My friend is a friend, so I hope he will also be a friend. Spy Master of Tyr Connell seeks to kill our kinsman? Interesting. On the county of Westmoreland. Nope, let it go. We'll gain some piety. I need you in the duchy, lady. I don't need a county. Oh, they didn't become friends. It's sad. The spy master of Tyr Connell. Can I ask him to end the plot? He will do it. Go ahead and end that plot, good sir. I need you to stop it. Let's see, Duke Nial has usurped the title County of Shrewsbury from the Duchess of Poise. Oh, so he went ahead and just usurped it himself. Interesting. So that's a little bit more um, 
land for us. And England is no longer at war, it doesn't seem. Oh, uh, France is pushing. So we still have a truce break. But this is definitely interesting, and he's going up against France with 21,000 troops. Hopefully, France wrecks these guys a little bit. He's going to get on his boat. Never a shortage of troops. Now, the question is, since our Duke usurped that title, do we actually have a valid claim to go to war now? That is interesting. Oh, that's what we wanted to do. Look at the Kingdom of England, and he is at war again. I know the truce is expiring, that's fine, that expires in October, or if King Edith dies. But I don't know if we are going to have a valid Castus Belli to go to war on behalf of one of our people. I mean, we can claim these counties. Let's see, invite to the court. He's not going to come, so he would just be independent. That's not going to help us out a bit. All right, can we invite any one of these people? All right, declare a war. Let's go with Countess A. Swift of Worcester. She'll in her plot, that's fine. And where are you? So you are the county of Worcester, and she is in our uh, domain. So we can press her claim when we go to war. England is gonna be down here trying to wreck France. We can distract them a ton if we press that. So that is Derby. That's the county right there. We can take one more piece of land. That's something to keep in mind. How about Northampton? You are in the county of Suffolk. So we can press that county on his behalf. I kind of wish that we had more than just one county to claim. So we can claim Derby. We can claim Northampton. Northampton has... 2,100 troops, Derby has 1,800, so Northampton would be a bigger chunk out of everything if we were to press on that. How about Poise? Cuthbert. No, you are the spy, mas spy master in East Anglia in Norfolk. So you are not a part of my realm. We could do a double duke claim here of Chester. So we can press your claim, and you are our direct uh, vassal. So that would work as well. So we do have a few claims that we can press, and he is North um, York. So York has 1,900 troops. So I think pressing for Northampton is the way to go. It's... Uh, It'll cut England directly in half, and it has the most um, levy that the King of England would lose, which is ultimately the goal, right? All right, let's go ahead then and declare the war for Northampton on behalf of our Count. We will go ahead and send that, raise up our entire forces. Now, these 675 may be in trouble in the grand scheme of things, uh, let's go ahead and get everyone down here and merge up. We will watch the uh, English forces closely. We'll stand these guys down so they don't look like a target. And while they are off thwarting France, we'll go ahead and siege that down. So while France is distracting England, we are going to move in swift. Very, very swiftly indeed. Right, there's 2,600 troops. Let's go ahead and merge them up and assign our commanders. So Malamur in the center. We want Denman on the flank and Balthier on the corner. Go to Northampton, if you so please. All right, you thousand, come on down. Hey, Happy Gilmore, come on down. You're the next contestant in Let's Siege Down Northumberland. Now, it makes me wonder if uh, England is going to turn his boats right around and start trying to smash us. It could be a thing. I know vassal levies are raised too long, but that's just sort of the name of the game, isn't it? So we're doing 3.5 every 12 days. We're, pi we're piling in. If we start getting some attrition, 
we'll start to uh, throttle back a bit. And matter of fact, I think I'll throttle back here. All you guys merge up, and I need Denman and Celine. We are not going to lead a flank. So perfect. All of our commanders are doing something. We want you lot to come down here. And we're going to start to do a double siege here. Now if we see the English forces try to make landfall, we will meet them uh, head first. But I think they've got bigger fish to fry as far as France is concerned. Hopefully this will be a pretty quick war. And we'll be able to siege this right down. That is the hope. 3.9 every 12 days. Go ahead and merge up if you please. All right, we are not leading any of those flanks, and we are not leading any of those flanks. We don't want to die. That is uh, the antithesis of what we are trying to do here. So is the war with France over for England, I wonder? No, he's still attacking England. He's defending against England, or defending against France over Vexen, which is interesting indeed. Hopefully we have him distracted enough. This was a very fortuitous war. I didn't see if he had any packs, though, any alliances. That could have been bad. But he doesn't, thankfully. And we're not going to worry about calling in anyone. We have more than enough troops, especially after they try to wreck France. It's going to be a bad day for them all around. All right, we should be sieging the war goal down shortly. If they try to make landfall, we can win a battle or two. I know the vassal levies are going to start to tick up, but we might not need them for long. And we're not even losing really any soldiers here. So as far as like war exhaustion or the, the threats, I don't think there is much of a threat. 9.9 .9 every 12 days. We do have 10 times the troops, but right now there's really no rush. I don't think we want to uh, we want to, to risk this manpower and have any um, the defenders of Gainsborough have died of starvation. Oh, that is nice. So our our boys are doing the work. They're starving. The stables are built in Lagan. Getting up some more war score. That's a double siege there. We have a new pope. How's the religious vassals? Yep, still paying us money. Probably wouldn't hurt to send 25 bucks to that bishop just to keep them in our pocket. Keep the money flowing. We are actually making positive income here. All right, France. So it looks like England is sieging down France just a bit. Trying to keep an eye out for any boats that may be landing troops. We'll have to combine our troops together, and that's another reason why I don't we lose the trait Envious, so we lose some intrigue, but probably gain our diplomacy and liege opinion, but that is fine. Victory there and victory there. I'm having trouble with a town and castle, and of course I'll send my chancellor to try and increase the relation. A uh, superb job, the castle in Leinster. Um, we hold the castle, so the town, if you please. City vassal opinion go up if you are so bold. And yeah, we can just siege this one down right quick. All right, so we've sieged down the war goal. We should be getting a ticking war score. Let's move on over to Oxford and start working on that siege as well. We shouldn't be that far behind with these, this siege as well. We should be making uh, positive gains here. Never a shortage of troops. That is good. Of course, we're going to take some loss from the sieges, but no worse for the wear. Time keeps ticking. We're in 1375. Making good progress here. And yeah, how's that war looking, France? Child lacks a guardian, Dongal. You're nothing special, really. Uh, go ahead and I will educate you. And this is a positive opinion bonus. So we can get some opinion up with the Earl of Ossery. There you go. Plus 10 opinion. So yeah, these sieges are coming along swimmingly. Let's see, Armchair seeks to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Ireland. Of course he does. Can I ask him to end his plot? He will do it. Stop it. The County of Westmoreland. Let it go. 
Get some piety and then give me that um, duchy, if you please. More victory and more siege. Yeah, we might actually get the 100% uh, war score without fighting a battle. Oh, interesting. We have a new heir. So our previous heir has died. Looks like everyone is going to uh, do some voting here. And we'll let the vote shake out. So interesting. We will lose the Kingdom of Ireland if we die. Now that goes away. Our wife is pregnant. Outstanding. Are you our kinsman? You are indeed. So we are we are going to vote for you. If everyone's voting for Audekin, which is a terrible marshal, by the way, but we'll we'll nominate him here. That way we're sure that uh, everything is going well. So you are good in the realm of stewardship, and this is also an opinion boost here. Who can we massage for more opinion? Bressel, plus 10, there you go. And you are a kinswoman, and I don't believe, yeah, it's just a regular old. Let's see, so you might be a steward. So let's actually educate her with some steward sense. Murkian, there you go. And continuing on, so 1,200 troops he decided to land here. That's fine. As a matter of fact, we haven't made that much progress in the siege. We're just going to abandon and smashy smash his army. And he's going to try to turn tail and run. Yeah, we will crush him nice and quickly. 4.9 war score. We'll get back on this siege. Oh, he decided to stand up. 97% war score, though. Let's slow this right down. We might actually win in this battle, and that could be good enough. If these guys want to stand up 17,000, or, you know, a couple thousand troops, more power to you guys. So is this going to be war score? I believe it is. There it is, 100%. We will offer peace and enforce the demands. We are now in charge of the county of Northampton. Outstanding. Let's get everybody home. And then what was this? Attacking Earl Conmec in the Duke Neal's war to revoke Leicester. Interesting in in indeed. We cannot join our vassals' wars and for supporting claims. Interesting indeed. Hold on. Auto-saving. Should invite one of my friends, of course. Dangerous factions here, huh? Well, let's stand everybody down. And see what kind of dangerous faction we have going on here. 70% to lower the crown authority. Alright, I think we can send some money their way. 46 bucks, you stop it. 49 bucks, you stop it. 42 bucks, you stop it. And you really, really want to uh, lower crown authority, but I'll pay you off. Seems good. As long as these titles don't pass from my realm, everything will be all well and good. But we have a truce with England for the next nine years or so. We've taken a good chunk of the land. And if we were to usurp this title, we own 41% of the 51%. It costs us 100 prestige, which we have. So if we can get a claim on, you know, a duchy here, that would be very, very good. We need a new commander, and you, sir, are it. Welcome to the fold. But that is going to do it for me in this episode of Crusader Kings 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we have cut England right in half, and we distracted uh, Fr uh, the English war from France, so they took that county of Vexen. So France is growing up. Pretty outstanding. Uh, can we form an alliance? Yes, we will indeed. So now France will be on our side. Oh no, we are ill. Will we end this episode with a death? Maybe. I don't know. But I'll end it here. Oh, a daughter was born. Hello, Mayor Cad. Oh, so twins. We have a lot of kids. We have a crap ton of kids, ladies and gentlemen. Our kinsman is... Uh, in line to inherit, which is good. 
Unfortunately, we have these guys in the election that were not our family. It would be nice if they were not available. Good thing that people like us enough to, to vote for our family. Otherwise, we would lose the whole title, King of Ireland. We would be relegated to just the Duke of Leinster, and we'd have to do all this again. But that's going to do it for me in this episode of Crusader Kings. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll assign a commander. You're good. And I will see you in the next Crusader Kings 2 video. Take care.